hello everyone good morning good evening good afternoon i have not been on here recording any videos because i have been um kind of sick um my voice has been gone um it has not came back fully yet um but i'm gonna go ahead and deliver this message um the best that i can um i hope and pray that it comes out in a way that where you all are able to understand what I am saying um, because my voice is not 100% on today, okay? <clears throat> but I wanted to go ahead and jump on here and just speak about getting out of error, okay? Getting out of error. Um, a lot of us are in error and we need to get out of error, okay? Um, God is calling a lot of us out of error. Not a lot of us, but all of us, okay? Um, you know if this message is for you, okay? Um, if you're living in sin and you think that it is okay, um, God has been pressing on you to come out of that, okay? Um, so this message is for you. Um, the Bible is the truth, okay? So whatever the Bible says, as Christians, we believe it, okay? We can't go against what the Bible says because we would be against God and we're not going to do that, okay? We can't stand in error with you and accept what you accept even though the Bible says it's wrong. We have to stand on the side of rights, okay? Okay? We have to stand on the side of right. So there will be times when you hear us as Christians say something that doesn't go with what you believe, but we're speaking the truth. If God is against it, we as Christians have to be against it as well, okay? So if you are listening to this message and you have been calling yourself a Christian, and that term is, is used way too lightly nowadays. But you don't agree with what the word of God says. Then how can you be a Christian? How can you preach and, and teach and be a representative for God? And you don't fully believe in the word of God. Okay? You believe bits and pieces of the Bible, but not the parts that talk about you and call you out and call your sins out. You don't want to acknowledge those parts, but we are to believe the whole Bible, not shut any of it out, not ignore it or bypass the other parts that convicts us. Convicts us. It is so crazy when you want to continue to stay living a certain way, and when people tell you what the Word of God says about it, you get angry. You want to put up a fight. You don't want to listen. And all we are doing as Christians is to pull you back in the right direction. But the problem is that you that many want their wrong to be right. And your wrong would never be right. You can try to justify it as much as you want to, but it's never going to be right, okay? And what is so sad is that many of you all don't have a clue that the devil has tricked so many of your minds to believe that your wrong is okay. And it's not okay. It never will be. And that you can continue to stay in your wrong and still think that you are okay with God and you're not. And it doesn't work like that. It does not work like that, okay? We have to study the Bible so we can all know how we are supposed to live, what to do and what not to do. We can't justify, okay? Because there are so many that has not read the Bible. You listening to this message right now. Have you read the Bible? Have you seen your sin in it? Have you tried to correct it? So in the midst of you living how you want to live, take into consideration to read and study the Bible. 
I'm talking about the Holy Bible. A holy Bible, okay? <clears throat> if you've been living against how God wants you to live, it is time to change that, okay? This is 2024, all right? Time out to be playing. How many gear, years have you been giving in to the devil? How many years are you going to give to God? <clears throat> because that is what is going to matter at the end. Not many is thinking about that. You listening now, have you been thinking about that? We don't live forever. We got to get this right. We can do better than what we have been doing, okay? Give church a try. Consider on getting saved. Think about getting baptized. Start reading and studying the Bible. Go get a Bible. And don't let it just sit there, but pick it up. Open, crack that thing open, okay? Consider on developing a prayer life. Where's God in your life? Where is he? Don't you think you need to give him some time? The devil shouldn't have more time than you give God. Who is your master? Choose this day whom you will serve. That's in the Bible. Joshua 24, 15. Okay? You're whether all in or all out. There is no straddling the fence, okay? God does not play like that. That's all. That's it. That's all I have for you all on today. I just want to jump on and say that, y'all. Choose God, okay? Because what the devil is offering, that ain't it, all right? So I will see you all on the next video. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and do that. If you are looking to strengthen yourself in the lord strengthening yourself in the lord hit the subscribe button okay and i will see you all later